everybody, it's Aaron here. Welcome to my vlog! Today we will play Filipino traditional games. Yeah, you heard it right. Filipino traditional games. And we will play these games. But before playing these three games, we need to know these three before we will start playing this game. So without further ado, let's go! Dampa has no definite history, but it became popular in the 80s when rubber bands on bundles of vegetables are being kept by the children. And they are made themselves cool on how many rubber bands you have on your hand. Pico is a game that joins all children of the world together wherever they live. It is unbelievably old. When ancient Roman cities were dug up, drawings of hopscotch lines were found on the stone floors everywhere explained on one aim, to win a place that calls one's own. Clap games, specifically Nanay Tatay, has no definite history, but it's commonly played by children. Its lyrics, however, shows the essence of being a spoiled brat that resembles the Filipino family culture. Here are the tools and equipments for the pa. First, we need rubber bands and also our hands, of course. These are the tools and equipments for playing Pico. First, any writing materials such as chalk or charcoal and also our pamato, any flat surface like coins or broken tiles. Finally, for our last game, for our clap games, from the name itself, we only need to use our hands for us to play. The mechanics of Dampa is simple. First, the rubber bands should be piled on the top and the other on the ground. Each player takes a turn in moving the rubber bands out of the heap. First, the player should aim and dislodge the odd number of rubber bands from the heap. Loses a turn if it's even number. The player's next aim is to move an odd number of the rubber bands beyond the designated line. When successful, it wins the round. But otherwise, the opponent takes all the rubber bands. That's the simple. Pico mechanic is simple. First, the players stand behind the edge of the box and throw their pamato. The first to place determined depending on the player's agreement. Whoever succeeds throwing nearest to the place will be the first. Throw the cue ball or the pamato on a certain box according to the order and you have to skip the box with your pamato in it. Once you step on the lines or outside the pattern, you will be disqualified. And once you reach the box before the box of your pamato in it, you pick the pamato and skip the box that was in it. The first one to complete the game will be the winner. This clap game is played like the usual hand clapping but upon reaching the chant of counting, the number of claps should correspond to the number counted. The one who makes the mistakes will be pinched, usually by ear. 